All right, guys, this is Jason with FPV Model. Uh, what we want to do today is give you a look at the new 5.8 gigahertz uh, Mini TX. Uh, this is 40 channels, so it does come with the uh, race band channels on it. And today we're running a little low on time. Uh, we've got to head out to Germany, but this just came in and we still haven't really told anybody about it. So we want to uh, just set up real quick and show you one of the uh, features that I kind of like about this. So let's go ahead and get started. Anyways, as you can see, uh, we've got a small cable here that actually connects to the antenna. And what this does is it allows you some, uh, allows you some play. So uh, it, however you want to set it up, you can easily bend your, uh, bend your antenna connection, get it to, if you want to mount it into a CF plate, you can go ahead and mount it into a top plate, or if you just want to leave, leave it hanging off the back and put a, uh, put a mushroom antenna on it or something and don't have to worry about, uh, about it being too rigid of a design so you don't uh, break your antennas all the time, uh, this, will have some, this will have some flex and some play to it in the event that you crash, which uh, I'm sure all of you are well aware that is going to happen. So anyways, let's just go ahead and flip it over here. And what I uh, want to show you real quick is there's two features. Uh, one I like about this is the power is already connected to this video transmitter. And as you can see right here, there's just a small switch. So what we can do is just go ahead and move that switch and turn it on. And you'll see the power comes on. Now it is a push button design, so you don't have to worry about the dip switches. So whenever you uh, want to cycle through your bands, you just press and hold it for a moment. And then you'll see you get your A, B, E, and F bands. And after you cycle through, the, uh, cycle through and pick the band that you want, then it's just a quick press to go ahead and change the, uh, change the channels that you want set up on here. So, uh, like I mentioned, uh, it does have the push button design and the LED screen, so it's kind of nice so you don't have to constantly mess around with dip switches. Also, just in case you uh, have your mini quad set up and you hook it up to a uh, computer and you're changing settings or anything, uh, one of the nice features about this is if your antenna is not connected, you can always just make sure that you turn it off. So even though the power is connected to it right now, uh, there's no need for the antenna to be connected and it will remain off so you don't have to worry about burning out your TX. Uh, a lot of the times people accidentally forget to put their antenna on or they're in a hurry and they just uh, would rather not have to uh, uh, rather not have to look around for their antenna and uh, hook it up. So one of the features about this is while the power is connected you don't necessarily have to have your antenna on. But you still do need to have your antenna on whenever you turn the power on in order not to burn these out. So once your antenna is connected and you're ready to fly, you just go ahead and switch it back on and the power will come on to it. So anyways, uh, we're going to get ready to head out of here. But if you have any questions about this particular uh, transmitter, uh, go ahead and leave a comment or you can always send us a message to sales at FPV model or Jason at FPV model. Thank you for watching.